come with us now, if you dare, down a rickety staircase into a dank, dark basement. What awaits? The Saturday Night Freak Show. (laughs) Hey, thanks for listening to the Saturday Night Freak Show podcast. We come at you every Saturday right here, wherever you found us. Please give us a star, a review, a like. Uh, give us a review uh, on uh, iTunes, Stitcher Radio, TuneIn Radio, iHeart Radio, Cast you know. Roller, Podcast Attic. Is that where you listen? No, I just have heard that term. <laughs> okay. Uh, so what we do is we watch movies and we go around the room and we talk about them for your listening pleasure. These are the internet radio superstars. Sean. Brandon. Holly. And, and I'm Colin's twin. Oh boy, Carl. 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 Sure. Special guest. Carl. Naturally. Carl yep. Clark. Because we watched the. <laughs> now you've dedicated to this, and I expect you to uphold. The... Oh, yeah. yeah. Well, I should do uh, Colin and Carl. Colin. Carl. No. Yeah, okay. I'm sure the audience will know the difference. <laughs> yeah. All right. So, uh, why Carl is here is because Holly picked tonight's movie. What did we watch tonight, Holly? We watched Double Impact, starring Jean Claude Van Damme and. and- Jean-Claude Van Damme. Oh, shit. Yes. <laughs> what year? 1991. Directed by? Sheldon Lettich. <laughs> it seems like Jean-Claude Van Damme. But... It seems like it, he did everything else, but he yeah. didn't direct it. That Story was by? Yeah. Jean-Claude Van Damme. Produced Screenplay by? by... Jean-Claude Van Damme. <laughs> Fight choreography by? Jean-Claude. I can't do it anymore. I just can't do it anymore. <laughs> I won't, I won't, uh, I so this is it. a vanity project for the up-and-coming yep. action star of Bloodsport. Blood uh, well, sorry, sorry. Twice? No, no. He's the star of Breaking. <laughs> uh, yes, he is. Sure. Blood we'll sport kickboxer. Was it no? Was no retreat? No surrender? Was that before? I think that was before blood sport, mm. where he played a Russian kickboxer. I, I don't remember. remember. Russian? How was that accent? I think he was Russian because yeah. I think it was like an American Russian, you know, like a Rocky Four was, kind of ripoff. Did, did they say that he was raised in a French orphanage to make up for the accent, <laughs> like they did in this movie? Maybe they dubbed him. Yeah. And then the, and then the other wasn't one, John Claude Van Damme. At that and point. the other one was raised in France. Well, lived in California, but raised in France. Raised in France. Just, like we'll just throw this in there to make yeah. make sense. Of we want yeah. to make sense of the accent. I, thought, I JC, at least appreciated that. Is JCBD French? I thought he was Belgian. 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 Yes. Well, I mean that's you know. It's basically it's, yeah. yeah. <laughs> they speak French. Uh, don't they speak German? Yeah. I, sure. Don't they have their own language? Aren't they? Aren't I don't they, think they, they do. Been, I was I was I was there and I don't remember. They all uh, they all speak English as well. I'm looking this so. up. Yeah, you're right. Because now I'm My thinking about it. in Belgium. Maybe I should message her real quick. I don't know. Also, is it also? Be- what do they speak in Bruges? Isn't Bruges? Where's Bruges? In Belgium. Yeah. Do they speak? I don't know. I mean, it's all English. French. It's like, do they speak Dutch? Wow. Could because we be more American right now? They Bel- speak French, it- Dutch, and German. Uh, all go. right. French, okay. Dutch, and German. There we go. <laughs> we got it. Wow. We figured it out. <laughs> Woo. And they that was all speak, stop us. Thankfully, they all speak English. English as well for us. Thank you for that. Yeah. Wow. Appreciate it. So, double impact. Not to be yes. confused with. Double Team. Double Team. Which is also a Jean-Claude Van Damme movie. Uh, real yeah. lack of Dennis Rodman in this movie. Yeah. Real lack. Yeah. And no Mickey Rourke and a tiger. Yeah. No. Um, Mickey, I'm sorry, was Mickey Rourke in Double? Yeah, he was he's the, the bad villain. Guy. Is he? He's the bad guy. I need to fucking rewatch I apologize yeah. for not rem- remembering that. <laughs> Me too. Mickey Rourke. That went to the top of my list now. <laughs> Holy shit. Uh-oh. Beware. Coming up no, on the Saturday. No, I'm going to put that one on hold. We're having uh, Jean-Claude Van Damme right now. So yeah. now it's We've done two months. Jean-Claude Van Damme movies on this show. The other one was Blood Sport, which I think mm-hmm. maybe, did we recommend? I don't think we did. Some of us uh, did. I maybe. think two people did and two people did. So I think yeah. the difference is, is Bloodsport fucking rules. <laughs> like, that movie's legit awesome. Well. <laughs> You're saying that without a hint of irony. No, I irony. appreciate That's a, that, that is just, bold that movie is, statement. Okay, I mean. <laughs> <laughs> but, okay, Bloodsport was pretty awesome. I mean, it's. Was. I mean, your, your keyword is was. When was the last time you watched it? Yeah, we have to. Do you want to be real? I, I can be real with you guys. This like is three months ago. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> okay. All right. And Good. straight up. Holds up. <laughs> that's that's Good. why I asked. Good, because we always have to ask that question. Every time somebody writes in, they're like, I love this movie. It's like, when's the last time you watched it? Because I always, I was the same. I was, the same. I was like, Bloodsport is number one JCVD. That's the number one. You can't top it. Really? And then, and then when we watched it, I was like, mm, 
Not time cop? Not as good as I oh, remember. Oh, man. It's, not it's as still, good. Oh, Jesus. Is this the third fucking Van Damme movie? Oh, it is. Time Cop. You guys did, did time, time Cop. Time Cop. So he's on the wall. Put him on the, on the wall. wall. And he was in Breaking. So he's really on the he's wall. He's on the wall. Uh, yeah. Oh, he's on the wall. <laughs> Some people can't. I mean, I, I was always more for the quality versus quantity, but I think I got to vote it on that one. Yeah. Who didn't? Like blood sport. <laughs> me. What? I, me. I'm yeah. pretty sure I recommended it. No, it was it was two and two. It was me and Colin did not recommend and Sean yeah. and Michaela did. Uh, yeah. pretty much, yeah, it's was, just a fun, stupid movie. <laughs> it is and a stupid really, movie. Like, you I are love, right. I love the concept of like people from different countries. Right? <laughs> All the different fighting styles. It's it's so it's, it's, it was a, called End of the Dragon. Action. It's a live action I guess, World combat. I guess, <laughs> forgive me. Yes, we're not talking about blood sport today. I'm sorry. <laughs> So uh, the one that nobody remembers apparently in the uh, so blood sport kickboxer Lionheart and the, then the quest death warrant well prior to I see prior death warrant and then double impact and then Universal Soldier right, right? this is before right. he went to uh, Hollywood right no this was an MGM movie so this is uh this is a studio flick. This isn't canon films. No, <laughs> this is like not. legit Metro <laughs> Goldwyn Mayer producing this film. So in this movie, Holly, yeah. why don't you, you you take us through this? Like what what's this about? I mean so here's the thing. I don't exactly know <laughs> what was happening. You just there was, you no, 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 research. no, no, listen, there was there was a tunnel. By watch you that, mean or by research you mean watch the movie like five minutes? It just got over. Yeah, no. But <laughs> Is that all I, we have to do? I, I don't really understand because I know that they're the twins, J C B D and J C B D. Twins. Here, twins. Here to four be known. The twins. Um their father like designed a tunnel. Is that correct? Yes. He designed yeah. this tunnel. I believe it was a tunnel that went from Hong Kong to the mainland. Sure. Yes. yes I understand this. Under under the uh, ocean. under the, the ocean. ocean tunnel, um, submerged tunnel. And after it was done being constructed, they didn't need him anymore. The Chinese mob decided to kill him. But he basically owned, owned it. Right. Here's, here's it. where I'm confused. He didn't. He own it. He's, he was just the architect. Here's that's but this I is think, where I'm But confused. he must have also had fun because he did. He, because oh. it, it said he ran out of funding yep. and that's why he ended up with Griffith. Right. Who then was in the pocket of Zang. Yeah. There you go. Brandon's got this all mapped. He does. <laughs> okay. But what is Nigel? What is, Nigel Griffith. But what, they, they keep talking about like what what you own, what is yeah, yours. And the, and what's, so what what's is this? So, so what is the what ownership is the, of the twins yeah, have? Yeah, exactly. What is the benefit of owning a fucking tunnel? So I think it's this. Uh, what is this? Tolls. Tell me. Tell me. I would like yeah. <laughs> tolls. Tolls and tariffs. <laughs> Tolls and tariffs. How many tolls can there be in this toll? It's like in this, owning in this tunnel? land. It's property. You got the. I don't know. You, think, you got the going in and the coming out. Yeah, so two. I mean, in. So I two, like two tolls. Toys, you know how much uh, taking like the channel costs between like England and France? A fuckload. That's really? what I'm guessing. Yes. Yeah. Like I, even like if I go on like the like the turn like the Boston Turnpike, it costs me like seventeen dollars. Yeah, it's expensive. I'm pretty sure you're. It's like sixty to hundred dollars per trip, like Damn. through like a tunnel. Okay. Like that. Are you a because it's fan saving of you coming in, in or going out, Colin? Just since you brought it up, I just want to know which, which is. I would which like you, you to revoke that question. <laughs> I just want to know. So I think it might actually be relatively lucrative. Probably. Okay. I would okay. Right. This, yeah, it'd be something because it. it's also if it's built with private money, which obviously it, it was. Like, yep. mm-hmm. Right. Mm-hmm. I feel like that you also the, the government also has to give you like a stipend or money to rent and use those facilities from right. you at their will. Right. Okay. And right. so because of this, the uh, the well, what's his Zhang? Zhang. Raymond Zhang or something yeah. like that, right? He, his name was Raymond. Wasn't it? I mean, it sounded like Raymond, but it might have been. I think it was. Well, there's Raymond okay. Chow or whatever the guy, uh, Run Run Shaw, wasn't he? Raymond Shaw. Yeah. I mean, they have, okay. it's Hong Kong. So they rub out the. Uh, the, don't, the don't, don't use that <clears throat> term. What? That's what that was called. Okay. You rub a person out, they're dead. Mm. Do you X them out? You 86 them? I think we've retired that terminology for that. <laughs> I'm bringing it back. Now you're on the trolley. I'm confused so, what decade you're from, Colin. Uh, you, so, <laughs> I'm not. You see? Yeah. <laughs> so you uh, you kill these people. Sure. So the guy and his wife, <laughs> yep. right? Bolo Young, uh, who did we mention is in this movie. Bolo oh, Young yeah, Bolo is in the star yeah. of 
Bloodsport. Blood <laughs> <laughs> Enter the Dragon. Oh, Enter the Dragon. Yeah. And, and a shit ton of Chinese movies. Right. Where I hope that this man was a star at some point. He like should a lead been. in his own films, not always the guy who got killed in the by the American right. hero. Uh, I like to believe that in Chinese cinema he is more of a hero. Yeah. I like I, I, I hope so. I hope There's so. a scene in this movie which I suppose is Bolo Young's signature move, but where he flexes all of his muscles. And somehow by doing so, it's like he takes his back muscles and throws them up yeah. into <laughs> Makes his neck. Throws them forward, yes. Yeah. And all of a sudden becomes oh, like the Incredible Hulk, about three times bigger than it's, he is when he's it's just like, standing there. It's like a turkey putting up all its feathers. Yes. Yeah. You know, it's just, just like aggressive. That. Yeah. It's amazing. It yeah. is amazing. Yeah, but that's it's why really he's Bolo impressive. Young, I suppose. Yeah. But uh, Bolo Young, who never ages, we should say. Never ages. Because this is 91 mm-hmm. and Enter the Dragon was 73. Mm-hmm. In the movie, uh, I wow. think the prequel takes, uh, the, or so the prequel, the prelude. <laughs> yes, that's better. Takes place in like the 60s? 70, no, 60. Yeah. 25 years before 91. Oh, there you go. Yeah. Okay. Because the cars, you yeah. know, we were looking at. Uh, so, yeah, he's part of the crew that uh, that kills uh, Van Damme's mm-hmm. uh, and Van Damme's. Right. Parents. So 76, sure. right? Yes. Yeah. I like your yeah. fast math. Because I wasn't yeah, even going to go there. Fast oh, math. <laughs> 66. There you go. Okay, so I was right. Yes, right. you were correct. 66. Yeah. 66. There you go. There you go. All right. Praise my math some more. <laughs> so we catch up. Oh, and uh, we should also say that uh, Jeffrey Lewis, the stalwart uh, Jeffrey Lewis, mm. dependable yeah. actor. Yes. Uh, Been in 200, over 200 movies. 200 movies. Mm-hmm. Including the Devil's Rejects, you horror nerds have probably yeah. seen him in that. Yes, and Salem's Lot way back in the seventies. Sure. Mm-hmm. So he is the uh, jack of all trades bodyguard for the uh, the architect and his family who takes a night off. They give him the night off, and so he is not there to save them from a uh, certain death. Right. Um. Not to be confused with sudden. Not to be confused with sudden death. That's a different JCVD movie. Was that, was that also also oh, uh, Sheldon Ledich? No. Oh, okay. Because he did several other JCVD movies. He did. Um, well, he he didn't or he directed. He didn't direct them. I'm looking it up. He, I thought he did like Maximum he Risk wrote, or something. Yeah, he wrote. Wait, did he um, do, the, do the quest? Sorry. He wrote Bloodsport <laughs> and Lionheart. Okay, but he just started directing. Oh, he did. He did direct Lionheart too. That's right. He directed. What Lionheart. was the quest about? Uh, he he directed Lionheart, quest? Double yeah. Impact, Only the Strong, Perfect Target, The Last Patrol, The Order, The Hardcore in 2006 was his last. Well, The Order is a JCVD movie. Yeah. I guess it is. The Quest the Hardcore sure. in 2006 is also a JCVD movie. Most, I think it it wasn't the Quest kind Most of the same of thing as Bloodsport? Yeah. I keep on thinking it's the Legionnaire, but it's a different he, movie. He wrote Legionnaire. Yeah, because yeah, that's the one where he joins the French Foreign Legion. Which one has Roger Moore? Is that The Quest? I, don't know what this I think is. it is. Up. Yeah. All right. Well, as uh, Captain Google over here is checking this out. So this is a family tragedy that, that takes place at the beginning of this movie. Yeah. Uh, Jeffrey Lewis is unable to prevent it. Yeah. So we jump now 20 odd years in the future. Yes. The quest was directed by Jean-Claude Van Damme. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, wow. it's a logical leap. That That's you have one to with make. Roger Moore. Yes. Yeah. I mean, wow. you can't produce, write, and star and choreograph movies all your life. Eventually, you have to direct yourself also. Get behind the, yeah, you got to get in the chair. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Now, if he mm-hmm. would have directed himself and himself. That would have been amazing. Wow. Yeah. Impressive. That I can't impressive. imagine it would have come out better. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So where do we find these guys uh, 20 odd years later? What was it? 25 years later? 25, years, 25 later, yeah. years later. Where are they? Because they get separated. Uh, yeah. I suppose that's get, another yes, plot, they, plot they get point. separated. Um, the na- I guess she's the nanny mm-hmm. is yeah. with them. She takes one of them and takes him to a orphanage in Hong Kong. Which, but it's a, a French, French orphanage. orphanage in Hong Kong. A, a French, French orphanage. speaking orphanage. Yeah. Yep. Bonjour. <laughs> <laughs> Bonjour. <laughs> uh-huh. And uh, the other is taken to, well, I, I guess he's taken uh-huh. to France. One, but eventually right. he ends up in Hollywood. Apparently. Right. Right. Where he coaches with uh, Frankie, coaches. the guy his yeah. his father's bodyguard. Right. That's right. He takes who him then and looks raises out him. for him. Yes. Yep. So yeah, this is what can kind of confuse me because uh, actually now I'm trying to remember what was the inciting incident that Frank decides like because okay so the twins are Chad and Alex. Alex, yes. Uh, Chad's the nerd, the goofball, He's the dork, the dork. Yeah, Chad <laughs> dork. Twerp. 
who we are introduced he's to. He's something else, but we won't say that word. He's like instructing. Oh, I, can't uh, I can't either. What? He's the other thing that he keeps getting called. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. He uh, well, he does wear pink shorts. Well, that does. And that think, takes I a think brave that, person. Or I a think his outfits person. more make him a dork than the other <laughs> wear that is used for him. And uh, he, uh, so he teaches karate class and, and aerobics. And aerobics, right? Yeah. Where he does the splits, which for, he's well, that just makes him a smart man. In my opinion, like look, look at the crowd he's got before him. That makes him a smart man. Uh huh. Mm. Which is weird because like Jean Claude Van Damme has always struck me as like the most effeminate of the action heroes of that era. And I think maybe that's why you know it's like it seems like that or why or it's like, huh? He just doesn't seem like a really tough guy because he's a smart man. Because he's a smart man. Um, they uh, what was the inciting he can kick incident? Your ass. Well, I'm sure the man can. He's got. Uh, we don't control. know what the truly inciting incident was. I think Frankie has uh, just been looking for the, for Alex for Alex for a long time. Yeah, and then finally someone showed like someone we don't someone that we don't know who showed up to meet with Frankie and was just like pictures like that's right. him. We've got to be him. Yeah, and so that's the inciting action that makes Frankie and Chad go to Hong, Hong Kong, Kong yeah. to find Alex. Because they finally found him. I feel like he's been looking for him for years. Where yeah. Frankie just weirdly lets Chad go on and do a bunch of dumb shit. Yeah. Like, he's just like, why is he throwing him to the wolves so weirdly yeah. bad in that movie? Like, I don't know. Like, he, like, basically told Chad, like, didn't correct that one dude that thought he was Alex and gave him right. the money, which I would have been like, well, no, if this, if Alex is a bad dude, he's gonna want this fucking money. Right. Right. And then basically tells him to like, hey, why don't you go? Uh, why don't you go? Uh, why don't you go fuck that girl? It's probably Alex's. Basically, girlfriend. it was weird. It was very weird. But this is why I thought for some reason that, uh, and the, the once Alex comes into the picture, the relationship between him and Frank, it seems like they know each other and have been doing you know stuff. So throughout I wondered the years. that too because it was like implied like like Frank knew where to go in Hong Kong. Yeah, he walked in there and acted like he knew what he was doing. Yeah, the that's why he was like because counter because that's why he didn't really feel that Chad was going to get in any kind of danger by because he knows because he was you know, cool. Yeah, and he under he, like he's been there before, but I don't think he has. Frankie? Yeah, I mean, yeah. I mean, we know. Been to Hong Kong? No, we know he's. I'll, been, we know. I'll, I'll think Frankie like we know, Alex doesn't yeah. know Frankie until then. Although th- what we're saying is the right. movie doesn't read that yeah. way. Yeah. It reads like right. He's some right. like Frank has somehow been shooting back and forth between continents. That's exactly what I thought. Yeah, yeah. and knows both of these guys. Oh, I never yeah. got that. I thought he didn't know Alex at all. But we watched. He walked in the place, the Mahjong parlor, with like such swagger, like he knows the joint, like chit chatting sure. with the guy. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh no. Yeah, he's I, like, I got to talk with this really guy. Smug look on his face. Yeah. Like, oh, I never like, thought they knew each other. Yeah. I, I thought this was the first time that they. All, I mean, I they think I think it is the first. time. Time, right, but it seems like but it, the movie it presents not. it as Correct. not. All right, I'll go with that. So when these brothers get together and first uh, see, become aware of each other, yeah, um, it's uh, love at first sight, brotherly love. They're kind of yeah, no. they're like this. No, no, mm-hmm. no, no. He walks in and his girlfriend's got her hand down his brother's pants. He's not happy about that. Hanging on to his black silk. His black silk underwear. Yeah. They bring oh, up the black underwear. silk underwear like seven <laughs> a times. A lot. A yeah. lot. That's <laughs> many Well, times. because this is a key plot point that we have to remember going forward, ladies and gentlemen, because the jealousy that is sparked at this moment in the movie uh, for Alex and his brother Chad uh, is going to eventually pay off. Like uh, it's a Chekhov's black way. silk underwear. Yes, it is. Mm-hmm. Yep. Mm. It's also Chekhov's Johnny Walker Red. Yeah. Can we have a special wall for all the Chekhov's whatever? We, we, we will not have enough space. There's that, that wall. We'll just clear everything we off and put space. on a wall. We've had a lot. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah. So these two guys don't get along at first, which means, of course, but by the end of the movie, they're going to be, you know. They have to work together, Colin. Yeah. We know so, this. But they, they we also, know like, never were just like, they had to work together because, like, okay, well, the two people that are important to us are captured, so... But they never had like a come together like we're brothers moment either. No. It was just like I flash forward in the movie, I guess. Um, the uh, Alex gets hammer faced because honestly, not th- to be honest, not that much happens between <laughs> <laughs> where we're introduced to them and then like the end of the movie. Yeah. Right, right, yeah. 
I mean, this like, is a problem in your action movies <laughs> when you don't have any action. I sat yeah. there for I don't know how long it was forty five minutes or more, mm-hmm. going like, well, something's going to happen at yeah. some point in this. But they, it's all they like, basically oh, hunt down the other two guys who are very conveniently like still dealing together with a bunch of random shit and together physically a lot. Mm-hmm. Zang and Griffith, Griffith yeah, yeah, Nigel. Yeah. What I love about this is whenever it cuts over to see what they're up to, they're just sitting in a boardroom like together with like tuxedos on. Yeah. Just kind of sitting around waiting for something to happen. Yeah. Whenever it cuts back to Alex and uh and Fred, Frank? Frank, Frank, they're like pacing back and forth waiting for something to happen. And it's always like, What are, what are all yeah. these people have nothing else to do than wait for the plot to do something. So yeah. to deliver them uh, uh something to act on. Yeah. Basic plot points. They find out where these people are. They find an old abandoned hotel. Yeah, on an island. Which is then their home base to get revenge. Pigeons. Which is the revenge well, <laughs> that Alex agrees to to go on this revenge quest for their tunnel. That seems weird saying it. It does. Well, <laughs> that's I mean, it. yeah, you know, but that's it. Um, revenge the quest for the, the tunnel. Yeah. Saying, this is a very important brand. But, gotta, thing, yeah. but Alex also has no like on a fucking whim. Was just like, yeah, fuck it, sure, I'll show you this yeah. old b- 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 hotel without any evidence from the get of who these people are. Well, we have like, a, hey, a, your a, girlfriend's boss that pays her a lot of money and is really good to her. Let's fucking get him. How? Yeah. But this is like one of the things that we were having a problem with while we were watching the movie. The idea being that because the tunnel is somehow it's rightfully theirs because yeah. their parents bought the thing, that if we uh, somehow we're going to reclaim this tunnel, and even the movie is like not clear on how this is going to take place, right. other than we're going to kill everybody else, mm-hmm. and then I mean we're going to be the only people standing, and they're going to take so our word for it, right? In th- so also like. We don't know the business dealings of their father. I'm assuming that if, like, my dad built a tunnel and, like, I don't automatically get the tunnel. It depends. Are you, right. are you like, Wayne Corp? No. Does Wayne Corp build the tunnel? You're Bruce Wayne. Your dad dies. Do you own that tunnel? You own the tunnel because your company owns the tunnel. I would think so. Uh, hmm. I don't. So we don't know if like no, if uh, Zhang. But if they had other business partners, it, like it feels like the movie is being based on the fact that they do own the tunnel. It's like it is their inheritance at this point. I don't, I don't often birthright. like right. a lot of exposition in movies. But, but I would help like, here, like a, maybe like a, a, a brief breakdown with like an accountant, like hey, actually, <laughs> right. or a lawyer. Yes, like you know, by the paperwork that your father signed, you guys are uh, right. Yeah. A little, a little you gotta get the disc yeah. or something. A little something official. And you're gonna need to hire a lawyer too, because people crash this thing and need to uh, sue yeah. all the yeah. time. Yeah. Like, yeah. what? I don't understand this. <laughs> the stakes aren't high enough to kill. I don't know. 150 people over right, right 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 right. we're killing a lot of people yeah. in a very bloody way over this tunnel and so I, I feel like the thing is it's like okay well we have the two people like it's to me it's more justice that he's like well, let's send them to jail and but i don't i don't understand the stakes here mm-hmm. no even mm-hmm. jean-claude van damme doesn't mm-hmm. because at one point his character is like after he gets in a fight with his brother he goes fuck it i'm going home and he's yeah. like prepared to leave and we're like what I mean, I really don't feel like, no, Jean-Claude, you got to no, turn back around. around you yeah. know, I, was, I, was, I was like, yeah, yeah go home, dude. Go home. <laughs> I was like, what go are you home. doing yeah. here? You've you murdered better. now. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> exactly. This pansy ass with his Louis Vuitton luggage has just willingly killed people. Yeah. Yeah. Killed a guy with a what trident. The- <laughs> I think you're well, wanted for murder. <laughs> it's because when you know the deadly art of karate... That uh, you can, you're instantly oh, you know, adept at uh, how like uh, weaponry works and all this. You're yeah, like does he know how a gun works before he's given a gun and said, "Hey, protect my ass." I think it's implied that Frankie trains Chad in the ways of Everything? weaponry, uh, probably. But you see, like mm-hmm. when they when they first had all those guns, that we don't know how they got like forty guns, <laughs> right? Yeah. yeah, but a deal is implied because Chad goes, "I think you, he sold you fake shit or whatever." Yeah. 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 But before that, he picks up like that and like cocks it super yeah, fucking does, like a badass, like fast. It's, and it's always that you just hit it. You, <laughs> I love that move. That's a great move. And I was like, old I was like, '80s action movie. Like, oh, okay, so this dude knows like, how to, to go. guns. <laughs> love it. I, I mean, they also did not throw back enough to like the other uh, Frankie's uh, Vietnam service. Like he yeah. Right, like yeah, once, yeah. He's yeah. like I'm like, oh shit, there's some shit going yeah. on there. Yeah. 
He's, well, he's I mean, there. I guess this this is leading to a question that I had for you. Like, how well do you think that the movie or uh, our thespian uh, at the center of it does delineating between these two characters? I mean, I think it's more physical. Well, one has a cigar. <laughs> yeah. Yep. yeah. And slick back, back hair. hair. Slick back hair. That's not even any longer. At first, when I first saw it, I was like, oh, it's like slipped back into a ponytail. That's or what I thought, too. Yeah. Like, no, yeah. it's the same haircut, just like slipped yeah. back. Slip right, back. Right. Just like LA looks. And yeah. wears mm-hmm. black and like trench LA coats. <laughs> and the other guy wears like <laughs> Jeez, neon <laughs> California style. Yeah, right. Very it doesn't matter where they're from, they both speak uh, French. Yeah. yeah. French yeah. accent. Yep. No matter where you're born. One of them looks like. Lorenzo Lamas. And one of them looks <laughs> like one of the Menendez brothers. That's how you Basically, tell the difference. That's, that's a good Basically, differential. Yeah. Yeah, that's about right. That's spot on. Well, I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm also Bright curious. Colors. God damn, the first one, he's L.A. Looks from yeah, L.A. Looks. Dude, that's it. Eighth grade that's gel. It. Eighth grade yeah. gel. Well, yeah. this is my question. I guess like, you know, because uh, Alex is supposed to have lived in Hong Kong his entire life. Probably had a rough life because he, you know, was an orphanage or whatever. Yeah. And then, you know, that's his background. And he's in a crime syndicate, mm-hmm. so that's how he's able to get these guns because he's in this deal. Uh, his brother fucks up a deal for him early on, but it's like the movie doesn't want to commit to him actually being like a bad guy, right? right. And this is, I guess, the thing that I how had. How did he like, even meet this very nice woman? Also, like they just like, hey, well, you're white and in Hong Kong, so am I. Want a date? Like, how did they meet up? That was probably it. Yeah, <laughs> back then, the only two white idea. people yeah, in right. Hong Kong. <laughs> You're white, and I'm white. Yeah. Well, there was a lot of people, white people in Hong Kong, because well, it was, sure. uh, it was uh, British, British, British control. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, That's weird to think mm-hmm. about that now. Yeah. It was mm-hmm. a British territory. I'm trying to think when they gave that up. Was it 99, 97, 2000? You guys keep talking. I got this. It one. feels like, because it was, <laughs> it feels like and the only reason I know this is because it was over. also a, a plot component in Rush Hour. So I oh. know I know that it was like not, it was in the recent past. Yeah, that's the only reason I know that. Yeah, it was like fifty years, I think, or something like that. I think so because there's a scene in Rush Hour, which is like uh, uh, last day of British control. And this was the kind of subtitle on the scene. Yeah. I'm just like, oh, okay, I didn't know. Well, that. I won't find out because I don't get service in Collins basement. Oh yeah, no, uh, I don't it's either. It's a dank dark yeah. basement. It truly is. But yeah, I don't know. Did you think that they were doing like? I mean, was this a concern? I guess when you're watching a movie, you just didn't care. That it's like he's they're trying to make him like he's, a, you know, the head of some kind of criminal organization, mm-hmm. but he's also sweet and cuddly and has this uh, girlfriend. And he loves her. And, you know, he but he's not actually, that sweet and cuddly. He gets no. hammered. He and strikes he, her. Yeah, he does. Yeah. He like backhands. And her. at the end, it's implied that she just like fucking is like goo goo over him again. And like takes no him one back. ever acknowledges this. He I just, wanted the turn at the end. Her. I wanted. I want her you to go Chad? back to California with fucking Chad. I do too. I want Chad to take I, her home. He had a better heart. I want, I want Alex to realize that he is not a good person. Yeah, and that she would be better off with Chad. Yeah, nobody That's acknowledges what I want. it. I want. I think they would be better off. That is like too much to ask of the screenwriters <laughs> of this movie. Which is Jean Claude Van Damme and his uh, and Chad. Sheldon. Lennon. Either way, he friend, gets Sheldon the girl. Lennon. <laughs> he wins no matter what, which is why he wrote this movie is because he wins. Can we talk, can he we, wins. Can we talk about how weird the sex scene was. In this All right, movie? I mean, it's well because it's we're, the whole movie basically builds to it. This is the centerpiece, and to be honest, the part of the movie that actually woke me up because I was kind of like, "Oh my god, this fucking movie!" Right? It's like, what are we doing? And then. There's like Jean Claude Van Damme, uh, one or two. I don't know. Alex, the bad one. He is Alex. losing his fucking shit because he has nothing else to do. Every time we like he's wearing black. Every time we cut back to him, he's guzzling uh, his uh, Johnny, Johnny Walker, Walker. Red. Uh, yeah, that's because he he knows that uh, he he makes a phone call to the place and knows that his brother is there in the back room with his girlfriend. Mm-hmm. And he just goes like ape shit once he learns. Of course, that. she's on. They, they're on a mission. You know, it's like right. they're being hunted yeah. by bad guys. And all, right, but right, Alex right. doesn't know this. Right. No. So he's fucking losing his mind. Well, I think they're on a boat at this point. They, are, being, they, they are at this point, yeah. And well, they, they have, get chased out a little, right, uh, you know. Yeah. yeah. And they get back on the boat and they're going back towards the island with the hotel, the abandoned hotel they're all staying at. And then they all have like a shared <laughs> orgasmic experience, <laughs> is what it feels so, like. That's what it feels like. Alex starts all to of them right angrily <laughs> imagine. Yeah. Yes. Chad and his girlfriend 
making sweet love. And I think yeah. Chad uh, is making, angrily yeah, masturbating. Like making sweet pastel love. Yeah, really. pastel love. And I think like, Chad is angrily masturbating as he's driving this boat. And so he feels are, like he's having feelings. And so at this it's point. Impl- it's straight, and so is she it, down in the hole. Straight up implied that all three of them are thinking. Like it's not yeah. just me. They no, 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 no. It's not just you. They're all experiencing this. It does like the close up where like it has the face and then like close up on the eyes a little bit like. Like, like they're thinking, and then uh, and then back to the sex scene. Yeah, on all yeah. three of them. Yeah. All of them. <laughs> it's weird. Yeah. Why? And she's partially nude at this point because this is she's when she's mostly nude. Yeah, well, she's changing her clothes. So oh yeah, yeah, actual her is is right. topless at this point. <laughs> right, and then fantasy her. Yeah, and is fantasy very is completely naked. naked. And yeah. so the screenwriter also avoided a very easy way to make. Alex, more, I don't want, I mean, more quote unquote legitimately mad. Like, it makes more sense to me for Alex, like, to get back in the boat, like, where the fuck were you guys? And yeah. to see, like, this girl naked because her clothes are still dry. Right. To, yes. to have, and then I to, thought they were setting that yeah, up. And then right. to freak yeah. out. And right, then right, they right. avoided that. She's like, oh, well, my clothes are dry. I just put some back on and there. Everything's fine. I'm like, right. what? Yeah. yeah. Bro, you need One to of those chill incidences out. where you come into something that looks a certain way, but is not. Yeah. And sure. that would help. But that did not happen. No. No, but it did lead us to, I think, the moment of the movie that we all plunked down our hard-earned cash to uh, to see. If you're going to have Jean-Claude Van Damme in a movie twice, he's got to fight himself. <laughs> <laughs> he's got to fight himself. He has to fight himself. Has yep. to. Whether he's, well, he's got to fight his stun double is what he's got to do. Well, but I think, well, go ahead. No, yeah. You're well, fine. I think like the 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 onus that is placed upon this scene then is that uh, this has to be the most spectacular fucking shit that you've ever seen. You would think so. so. You, you would think would so. so yeah. yeah. Because this is why we are here is to see yes. this moment. It's called double impact. I've only had one impact at this point. <laughs> yeah. I want the other one. Yeah. yeah. So how did the how this scene shake out for you guys? Uh, what was the better than I thought it would? Really. It was. It was better. I didn't have high hopes for this, but it was better than I thought I would because I was like, the editing's on this is going to be shit. Wasn't that bad? I've seen worse. Well, I mean, it was a lot of like the the stunt double behind the head. Well, uh, yeah, it's mostly all behind the head stuff because again, if he's fighting a stunt double and you got to cut from each perspective as they're delivering, I will agree with you. I will agree with you. The editing was not that bad. It was also because it was not that complicated. Correct. 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 (laughs) Yes. 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 Well, this is. uh, Do you remember? You guys seen the killer, the John Woo? Well, he's a Hong Hong Kong filmmaker. No, uh, the killer with the. It was John Woo's first. Chow Young Fat? Yeah. Chow Young Fat. Yeah. 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 It was before Hard Boiled. Okay. It's always Chow Young Fat. And I think that was around like 1991. And there's this interesting thing watching this movie and knowing that that movie was like coming out around the same time is the fight choreography in this is all like, look at Jean-Claude Van Damme, this physical, you know, like uh, athlete (laughs) who can actually do these moves. So Mm -hmm. we're going to slow everything down in slow motion of him, you know, doing a roundhouse kick and kicking somebody in the face or kicking, you know, them back or doing whatever he does, right? It's all slow motion because, look, he can do it. Mm -hmm. And Better Uh, so than Bloodsport. And then the Hong Kong filmmakers came around around the same time and sped everything up. And it was doing things at real speed, showing these guys doing, you know, and then there was the double gun thing, too. But they they were doing it at real speed and it became amazing. And all of a sudden there was this idea that, like, we have to do movies like Hong Kong filmmakers because they're making exciting action movies. Mm -hmm. Right. You know, it was slowing this shit down. Right. Yeah. Well, I heard Brandon actually sitting back there going, like, this is boring or whatever. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. Because <laughs> now I think we're used to, you know, we've had all of the, you know, the Yen Wu Ping's, you know, yeah. choreography right. and all this other stuff. That's, yeah, even you know, like we, or maybe it was earlier on, like Jet Li was like doing the, all the fast shit and the things I've seen, at least as far as when he came to American filmmaking or even Jackie Chan at that point. Yeah. Because that's my in for this stuff because I never uh, watched until lately. The uh, the foreign films that would involve like a different style of this action, but back then it was just all the slow mo shit. I'm just like they really wanted you to take in this stuff that they were doing, but it's, it's not an, as impressive. I think it's an easy thing for a director of a cheesy action movie to be like, well, it's more emphasis. Like it right. means more. You get a more yeah. like yeah. if it's yeah, like yeah, slow yeah. motion. Yeah, because yeah. if we mm-hmm. if it happens too fast, we you don't get the impact. Or you don't, you can't register it or something. I don't know. I think they're trying to go for a moment. They want it to have, like, they want it to have an impact. Yeah. They want these specific things to mean more. 
And that's why they slow them down. Mm -hmm. Which is weird because then it makes it seem way less realistic if it's a slow motion. And then I, and then you see like the results of like the kick to the head or whatever right. in regular speed. Is, or I don't know. It doesn't yeah, work. It doesn't me. work. Yeah. I mean, maybe. I don't know. I, again, this trying to go back to a different time. But like, did it work back then? I don't know. I, I didn't have that experience back then. But I mean, I guess movies are just like the violence isn't real enough. So I'd rather be like, like a caricature of itself and right. more entertaining mm-hmm. than... But I remember, I mean, I don't remember that, you know, that they, it made like a, uh, a double impact on me, but it, uh, <laughs> you know, it, I think. Oh, was that Carl? Was that Carl? That was Carl. Was that Carl? Carl, Carl? Think, thanks oh, a lot, Carl. Carl. Carl, go away. You're fired. Uh, but I think like if you, if that's the style that you see and you're unaware of, you know, that there's mm-hmm. another option. So, it, I mean, mm-hmm. you right. re- you read it as exciting because it is, you know, this is what the way action movies are done. Yeah. You know, yeah, you slow everything but, down for that, those key moments. Yeah. I don't know. Except for all Kung Fu oh, movies. fucking hell, what am I thinking? You know, like, actually, like, the killer does employ, like, an awful lot of uh, slow motion, too. Because yeah. that was the whole thing. Like, he was doing, you know, John Woo was doing, like, this balletic, you know. Oh, yeah. The, <clears throat> the ballet. The bullet ballet. Yeah, yeah. So I'm talking out my ass here. And then later, the two of them would uh, team up Jean Claude Van Damme and John Woo for what I think is Jean Claude Van Damme's finest hour mm. Hard Target. Ah. Uh, oh, yeah. Hard target. Yes. No? You brought that seen up. It in so many long. Times. I've never yeah. seen it, though. I don't think. It's been a long time. I don't From the director of Face Off? Yeah. No. Hard Target. From the director of Broken Arrow. Sure. Code Talkers. No, you're speaking oh, language. Bro- yeah. Broken Arrow. Code I, love, bro- I love Broken Arrow. Is this a John Woo movie? I love I don't Broken think Arrow. So. I don't know. Code Maybe Talkers. I, no, I love that. Code <laughs> Talkers. <laughs> That's a Nick Cage Wind, movie. No, it's Wind Talkers. Wind Talkers. Wind, Wind Talkers. Wind Talkers. Wind Talkers. That's a Nick Cage movie, you, Yes. There you go. Yeah, the Navajo. It's a John Woo movie. Is it? Yeah. If I ever get to pick a movie for this podcast, it will be Wind Talkers. Wind Talkers? Because that movie is a turd. That was the movie that Sent John Woo packing back. To, John Woo directed uh, Broken Arrow. Fuck, I wonder why I love that movie. Yeah, it's a good movie. Well, it's he did movie. Mission Impossible too. Also, why are we oh, talking yeah, about John Woo? Oh yeah, which I don't Wu? like. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, that's the one I don't that's like. That's one either. I don't like. Right, back to back to Alex and Chad. Yes, <laughs> thank right. you for oh, yeah. steering the yeah. ship back to the movie at hand. <laughs> All right, so <laughs> but we don't want to talk about this movie. Yeah, they capture Frankie and what was her name? Danielle. 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 And I'm to, after well after the after the the fight scene with the two brothers they, yes. they're not oh, yeah, they team just, up anymore they That's just it. beat the shit out of each other and, and, the, and then nothing is resolved her. after the fight which in reality oh. that fight would have been two seconds long because one was so hammered right after one kick you'd have been, been gone. drinking and blowing Johnny Walker out his nose and just drinking oh yeah, that was so more. badass fucking blows Johnny Walker out of his nose like come on burn so bad yeah because he's a fucking badass and they both run in opposite directions on the island basically yeah it's like I don't want to be here. Yeah. Well, this is, but they were cock blocked for, by uh, Fred coming in. Fred, Frank, Frank coming Frank. in. <laughs> Frank, and he interrupts the fight. I mean, I'm like, yeah. this is what we're here for, and we didn't even get to see yeah. it carried yeah. to its logical conclusion where one of them dies. Well, yes, because you can't well, have one win. You know, not okay. you know, you can't not have one die. win. Come on. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, and nobody can get the upper hand on the other one. That's true. You That's can't have a the, victor in that situation. No, you can't. You, can't. you have to have someone stop. It. They have to be equal. One can kick and one can't. What? Why? Right. I don't what? know. Alex never kicked. Well, yes, I mean, he, he couldn't. Did. He could. Did. The other guy always kicked. They both kick. That's their only move. That's both of their only <laughs> moves. Yeah, Alex like punches and does that whole. Well, that's, so what, that's his what move. Did have I'm positive. If we watch this movie again, <laughs> which we'd we see won't. Alex kicking. <laughs> yeah. I don't want to do that. No. <laughs> <laughs> don't make us do that. All right. So they run the the opposite sides of the island to get away from each other. Yeah. Pass Basically. out drunk. And then the fucking bad guys show up. They do. Bad guys are led by this uh, crazy. Well, I was going to say it's Bolo Young, but there's also the f- sixth person in the cast. What's her name? Uh, oh, Kara. Kara. Yeah. yeah. Who's the security Corey, guard? Is her is her real name? But Kara. Yes. She's a security guard for uh, Nigel's company. Mm-hmm. I think she's keeping diminishing the her role. She's like security. Badass, I think. At this I think point. she's like head of security. Okay, she's head, yeah. for Zane, and she's extremely head of flirty. Sexual assault. No, yes, for yeah. Griffith. <laughs> yes, for Griffith. Yes, yeah. head Griffith. of sexual assault. <clears throat> yeah, yes, because I mean that's just what I don't know. It's one of those like uh, you expect it in 
like those bad 70s movies that I watch. But yeah, I mean, she comes down and like her performance is like, so what are you looking for there? And she's like putting her hand in her hair and doing all this. Other stuff. I'm like, this is the security guard yeah. you're supposed to be intimidated by. It was just a weird <laughs> choice yeah. for that mo- character in that movie. Why? Uh, that didn't add anything to the movie. It added, it added sexual added, tension it added, uh, between her some... and Emma. Danielle, sorry. Danielle. Yeah. <laughs> It added a lot of discomfort for the audience. I guess. I mean, but I don't... Did the audience in 19... Uh, feel that discomfort? 91. 91? They should have. Well, I hope so. I'm sure they should have. <laughs> women probably did. Probably. But let's face it, women weren't at this moment. No, it's actually not true. I watched this movie in the 90s. Women did go to see Jean-Claude Van Damme. Movie. That's... There you go. Yeah. Um, I don't know what they were trying to achieve with so, the molestation scene. Chad and Alex are on different... Jean Claude Van Damme and Jean Claude Van Damme are on different sides of this island, both like an equal distance away on each different sides of this hotel. Right, mm-hmm. and they see what look they see what looks to be one thousand people storming the beaches of right. this hotel. Yes. like an yeah. incredible amount of people, and they kill maybe fifteen total. And and before I don't know. <laughs> This movie sucks. Wait, are you losing the plot? <laughs> Am I the only one that thought this may have brought back like some serious, um, like flashbacks for for Frank? You th- you would think it would have. Like, like he would have gone yeah. nuts at one point. Just like, like oh, I'm back. I did think so. After so, Frank and Danielle were captured by Griffith and Zhang. Yep. Yep. Taken to some f- boiler room. <laughs> boiler room in On some ship. factory. On their new ship. On ship. Their new ship. Their new right. ship. Yeah. Yes. And tortured. They're tort they hung up and tortured, and then the entire time I'm thinking like I was like, Frank's got this. He was in fucking now. <laughs> <laughs> He's gonna Frank's find a way out of this. Before. Well, Frank Frank's is got also ear necklace somewhere. <laughs> what he what he brings with him from Nam is his expert Endurance? knowledge of explosives. Oh. <laughs> because like the entire movie is him like uh, detonating little boxes of uh of bombs. Yeah, because they're charges. trying to they're trying to fuck up Zhang's like whole operation. Like they go to his Aren't they at a? Are they at his business, the casino, or something like that? Or yeah, yeah. oh, his nightclub, his yeah. nightclub where they're the climax club, right? Oh yeah, the climax, climax club where he's club. setting up C four things and they're delivering cognac boxes to like the meeting that's going yeah. on. Full of C four, full of C four. Yeah, uh, fucking John Claude Van Damme. Uh, Chad is dorking his way through the entire scene. <laughs> he really is. He's just like yeah. <laughs> Holding this box of cognac, trying to get into that I'm telling you, like the, it was a fucking boombox. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, it is. He's like, yeah. I See, th- here's the thing. No, Sean said it perfectly. Was it? Was it you that said it? You were pretty sure that this is just his character from Breaking. No, basically, that yeah. came into this <laughs> made movie. his way into yeah. this movie. That's yeah. his acting. Well, so yeah. what I remember uh, about this movie, reading about this movie at the time, was that Jean Claude Van Damme wanted the the industry. To know that he wasn't just this, like, you know, badass motherfucker. He had personality. <laughs> right. He's yeah. like, I want to play something closer to me. That's a bad uh, Jean Claude Van Damme uh, impression. Yeah. But, uh, you know, <laughs> something closer. Yeah, to so me. that's what I'm saying. It's like, are we watching a performer perform, or is that actually Jean Claude Van Damme? Uh, this is why exposed? he a, wrote this movie, produced this movie. He wanted yeah. to show all aspects of his personality that he could act. Yeah, yeah. he also he, started this movie. And start in this movie. Wait, yeah. did we did we yes. check to see uh, who the best actor nominees were for 1991? No, because we I am I'm going to shut you down. <laughs> Goddamn in sure. This. Because it's a joke and you're being facetious, and I don't like it, Colin. (laughs) And I want you to stop right now, because you know damn well. All right, no one got nominated for anything. A list of uh, not even Razzies. Better actors who have played against themselves who were nominated for Oscars. What? That's not. What? A, that's. I don't think that's a None list. Yeah. What about the Winklevosses? Winklevi. I don't think that. Right. The Winklevi did not get, They didn't get nominated. I don't think. Jeremy Irons played twin gynecologist. Dead Ringers nominated. Nominated for what? Dead Ringers. For what? Yeah. What was it nominated? Nominated for, for what? Oh, best actor. It, Academy Award. I believe so. And Dead Ringers. He was nominated, I believe, or he let's see, won the year after, and they. He won the year after. Yeah, for I'll give reversal you that. of fortune, but at that. He was not nominated for Dead Ringers. 
no, I can't remember. Was he nominated and didn't win, or he wasn't nominated? And so he made a speech at the when he won for Reversal of Fortune, thanking David Cronenberg. For I'll bet report. that is what happened. All right, I'll but that's guarantee like, you, he did not get nominated for Dead Ringers. <clears throat> Have you seen that movie? No. That's maybe the best like dude playing against himself that I've ever seen. Plays two different guys. <laughs> it's amazing. I mean, I'll take because Jeremy Irons. Uh, can actually. I'll, I mean, I'll watch. It I, I, I'll I, take love, it. I love. I love Jeremy Irons. Double, sure, Jeremy Irons. Probably not better than The Parent Trap. There I mean, it is. It can't be. <laughs> there it is. It are can't you, be. What? Are, Either are, of them. I was gonna say, are you referring to Haley Mills or Lindsay Lohan? Either of them. Okay. <laughs> I think Lindsay I like Lohan's Haley misunderstood. <laughs> I think she'll. I think she'll be fine. Didn't she have a song called Misunderstood? In I the, don't. I really couldn't. I think she did. I mean, probably. Are we talking? Wait, we're talking about Lindsay Lohan. Yeah, no, we're Haley Mills. Oh, Haley Mills. Her greatest hits. Yeah, yeah. she's hey, she's no. too. Yeah, they were singing. They were guitar and all up and all that shit. I know. Michael J. Fox wasn't nominated for what? What are you talking three, about? Three versions of himself. Oh dear Lord, sir. Uh, I don't think uh, multiplicity was nominated for <laughs> oh, anything. Yes, Thank you, sir. Thank you. yes, multiplicity. That man deserves a fucking Oscar for those portrayals. Uh-huh. That's four guys. Four guys. Yeah. yeah. Well, how it's many fucking wonderful. Michael J. Foxes were there? I would venture to say I'm more impressed with the multiple biffs than the multiple. I, that man deserves an award. Yes, he does. All right, those but I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna one up this, Michael Keaton. I'm gonna say that a, a special recognition has to be given to Eddie fucking Murphy for playing like multiple characters in every goddamn movie that he's in. Oh, but it. true, he doesn't play against himself. Yeah, he does. In yeah, the he fucking, does. Yeah, the what was the meet movie? the no no the clumps. The, meet the, the clumps. coming to America. Coming to America. He was like all the guys in the barbershop, wasn't he? No, Arsenio Hall was was some of them. Okay, well, yeah. Sure. No, coming to America. The barbershop guys. It was Eddie Murphy and Arsenio Hall. Oh, we're both also yes. barbershop guys? Yes. Also, I love that movie. I love that movie. <laughs> I'm going to give a shout out to Bowfinger because he's fucking... Is twins. It, he's, he's twins in that. Yeah, he's twins in that. Yeah. It's fucking great. Yeah. That, uh, I'll say, give the awards to that. That's also good. All right, so where, does, where does... Now that we've established... Is he also this. more than one character in Norbit? Yeah, he oh, is. Oh, Jesus we're not gonna, we're, so, But also we're in Vampire in Brooklyn. Uh, who else is he playing besides the vampire? He's the preacher. Oh, that's right. Hmm. Uh, there's somebody more, else. There's, in that we're, too. Th- we're not. We're, there's more movies of people that are th- more people. Oh, way more. Oh, way more. Way more. Yeah. We just can't think of them right now. We're just going for the who who made it a niche in the nineties <laughs> <laughs> that we all know of because that was their bread and butter at that point. What about yeah. what about Jack Black in fucking Tropic Thunder? <laughs> oh, fucking <laughs> he played, hell! <laughs> he played multiple people in that. Uh, I love for Tropic maybe Thunder. Like, um, are we going to say that all of these people do a better job than Jean Claude Van Damme does? I enjoyed them all more. I got more entertain. I got more entertainment out of those people just now. Here's the thing: is this movie that I did watching this movie when I when they when they it, like I don't know a half hour in, not even when they sat down on the couch together. Mm. Oh, the blue screen work! Yeah, I think oh, yeah. that's the first time I was like, Ooh. "This movie sucks." That's, that was wonderful. You always get that nice black outline across. Oh all yeah, characters. man. Well, there was the shot, Whoa. and this is the like I had said. You know, like I wasn't sure if I'd seen this movie. Mm. The only thing I remember, I know I have seen part of it because I remember that shot of uh, them in the truck where mm-hmm. one of them's like out the window, oh, but yeah. their heads are exactly the same size. Right. And it's like, yeah. ah, I'm not sure what yeah. I'm looking at here. It's like the, the yeah. It's Although I was kind of impressed by the uh, well, impressed. I, I couldn't see the, <laughs> the, the line. obvious line. Yeah, I couldn't see the line either. I kept yeah. looking for it. But it wasn't like as awesome as the, but they kept it dark in the middle. We forgot Alien Covenant where uh, Michael Fassbender actually passes objects back. Well, they, they did that in Back to the Future. But yeah. the Alien yeah. Covenant one is like, how are they fucking doing this magic in front of my eyes? Well, that's a lot easier to pull off now. Well, yeah. 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 Obviously. Yeah. I'll do the fingering. This movie was terrible. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> it's my fifth movie here. I would watch all of them again as opposed to watching this one more time. And he was here for Lamora, the lady Dracula, or the, the child sale of the supernatural. Yeah. Oof. Mm-hmm. I, like I, mean, I mean, I think uh, uh, Brandon has made his opinion apparent. Yeah. Are, we, are we are we to wrap up? So well, like, what have we gotten to? Well, there's a what scene that uh, I want to, to to single out uh, okay. uh, that I Please took do. great uh, enjoyment and enthusiasm yes. in, where uh, Alex uh, is trying to 
uh, reload a weapon or something like that because like there's all these guys jumping out of bushes and like you know shoot spraying the area yep. with machine gun fire, and so the way a scene is shot together uh, or cut together, dude jumps out of a bush. Start spraying bullets. And then we cut to Alex in slow motion, like scrambling on the ground on the beach for this like dead guy that he's broken his neck or whatever, and looking for the gun, finding the gun, loading the gun, turning around, and like firing like a hundred shots at the dude. Oh yeah. So I'm this. sitting there right. going like, this guy is such a fucking badass. <laughs> like he's like, like he's not even worried. Yeah. He's, <laughs> he's like, time. I'm doing all this like faster than those bullets. I don't have to dodge or nothing because no. the bullets are gonna go around me or. I'm going so fast. This is why it's slow motion. Yeah. Because we would miss it if we saw him at actual speed. The there bad, was a lot of clumsy shit in this movie. The like, bad yeah. guys like, in this movie are like stormtroopers. Well, even in the even even Jean Claude Van Damme in some of the action sequences, he does like clumsy shit. Like shit yeah. that's just like like where someone's gun will fall, it'll take like an extra second or two to like <laughs> yeah. walk over and grab it off the ground instead yeah. of just like it should be just like fast. Like yeah. it's an action movie. Like grab it, but it's like. He's just clumsy. And some of them are like tacked on like the beginning of the end of like slow-mo scenes where they're like, doing this like, yeah. I guess I guess it's quote unquote more realistic because he actually had to walk over and grab right. a dude's gun. Across the room. <laughs> sure. yeah. There's a lot of weird clumsy action. Yeah. 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 Mm. Very true. Was this Sheldon Lettich's, L- Lettich? Lettich's Lettich. first yeah. film? No. That he directed? No. You said he directed Lionheart. Yeah. God. <laughs> oh, my. Has, yeah, no. He directed other things. All right. So well, this was like a few in. Maybe some of that clumsiness yeah. was like trying to deal with split screen ish things. If they, if both actors Probably. were the same shot, he's like, well, we only have so much that'll fucking work. So we just deal with one of the half of the screens being clumsier than the other. I don't know. Well, we're Maybe. also pretty sure that we saw Jean Claude Van Damme stand in. Actually, in the movie, he was. Yeah, that has to. That be was him. totally him. That he's back the of guy. that head looked very familiar. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I'm sure they're just like, yeah, we'll give you a little, a little part, a little scene. I'm well, sure. Bring us home, then, Holly. How do we? I mean, because I'm in suspense. I mean, I need to know how this <laughs> ends. Do they get their tunnel back, and how? Um. Do well, we don't, we, we don't really know. <laughs> we don't know. What? Let's. let's we don't know. I mean, let's simplify. Who would end a movie like let's that? Let's simplify it. Do okay. they? Do they kill the bad guys? Yes. <laughs> do well, they get, yes. Do they get sufficient <laughs> paperwork and proof that they own this tunnel? Do they no. get lawyers and figure things out like grown-ups? Right. We don't know. But no. they do get revenge know. then for the death of. Uh, their parents. They, they do. Did we mention that Bolo Young has a fucking facial scar that makes that him look, and got, a, now, a cloudy eye that makes him look awesome? He right. does. I he looks yeah, like he a Bond villain. Good. There's yeah. some inconsistency because when he does get shot, it looks like the bullet goes through his face. Yes. Yeah, because he's got a hole on one side right. and he's all but fucked But that up hole on the other side is not there yeah. in the scarring um, later on. I th- mm. Yeah, no, you're right. There's you're only right. one you're side. Right. It looks like when he gets shot, the bullet came out his other cheek. And that's yeah. what we get. It is not there later on. Yeah. But whatever. You know how easy it would have been to, like, have Danielle, when she's grabbing the secret files, like, just throw in uh, five seconds of her at a copy machine looking fucking around. Yeah. Yeah. At a copy machine. Yeah. And then placing it in, like, a manila envelope and yeah. putting it in the mail. No, Before and, she gets searched yeah. by the right, security right. guard. And yeah. S- security then, then all of a sudden, like, okay, this, the, then I understand now... Okay, cool. It will work out for the brothers because the proof right. is there, and at this point, they're just defending themselves from these evil mm-hmm. people, and everything mm-hmm. will be okay. But no, at the end, they just murdered a bunch of people with no proof of anything. Nothing. You know what else I'm missing is uh, like it seems like if you're going to set up at the beginning that Frank is the guy who actually shoots Bolo Young in the face, yep. yeah, that he should be the one that ha- that duels with them at the end, yeah, or something. There should to be do or, something, or, or Bolo yeah. should have killed him because what is Bolo, Bolo like you and then like killed him, right? Yes, uh, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. or something yeah. like a, a vendetta, revenge, yeah. something. Yeah. But that doesn't happen. Yeah, they, they, yeah. they should show like Bolo waking up and from his bed, and like on the, on the wall is a picture of Frank with like a knife, like, a knife in his head. Yeah, uh-huh. like that's his been his been revenge is his like motivating factor. At yeah. this point, so, like, like, that motherfucker, or shows like shows him like in the mirror, like shaving. Yeah, and then with this big scar, he's looking at it, and like then the mirror, like the focus shifts from his face to like what's behind him in the mirror is a picture of fucking Frank. <laughs> yes, on a dartboard. Yes, his double impact. Too. Anything. Can we bring no, Bolo Young back? No, we can put this in impact one, well, Colin. We can't, we can't, well, we killed Bolo Young. Did we? I think so. He didn't. We he, did. he was electrocuted. Oh, oh right. right. Yeah, there yeah, was a big a showdown. Yeah, it was terrible. That, was, yeah. that fight was stupid. That was bad. Yeah. 
Yeah, just throwing rubber barrels at each other. Yeah, it was yeah. a bad fight. Mm-hmm. I don't know why. For it's and bad. like, did uh, Bloodsport come before this? Yes. Yep. The, for the rematch between those two, I this know. was a shitty rematch. There was like three times when bad guy with Scarface. Like like grabbed a, a, what's supposed to be a, supposed to be a heavy, full barrel, yeah, yeah. yeah. which, which <laughs> yeah. is impossible to grab. <laughs> yeah, but yeah. Grab about, look at that no, man! You can't get any purchase on that shit. And he grabbed it by his, a long what? time to to like power <laughs> clean that like, thing, like right hook, up to hook. here, yeah, and then over the head. <laughs> yes, that's yeah. exactly like, what he was doing. I'm like, when that dude's lifting it, punch him in the kidney, <laughs> like just hit him right Take in the his, side, sweep man. the leg. Yeah, yeah. Yep. No, let no. Him do it. Just wait until he comes at you with the yeah. Yep. And then electrocute him. Electrocute him. Yeah. I guess. Weak. I guess. I guess. I guess. And then there's uh because there are two villains, Nigel mm-hmm. Griffin and uh Zang. Raymond Zang. Zang. Yeah. That means each twin gets one to Ye- take down. Yeah. Conveniently. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Which well, would have made, which would have made would, more sense for Frank to have for one Frank too. To go against I know. <laughs> Scarface. Because yeah. they all get one. Yeah. No. Although, I got to tell you, by the end of the movie... And then movie, Danielle could have killed the other girl. I was thinking the same thing. Right. They awesome. all could have had Wait, one. Wait, who did kill the other girl? I don't remember. She got stabbed by... Yeah. Um, one of them. Uh, in a very, uh, an- right, in a very by an- anticlimactic, Alex. like, just, Alex. like, light little... Uh, yeah, that was it. And they got like, laid yeah. on the ground, and that was it. Yeah, it was Alex. And he very shouted, anticlimactic. He shouted to Chad to come get them loose. Yeah, I yeah. want... Yeah, she could have, like, showed, you know... Showed some toughness and gone after her a little bit. I would have been fine with, like, she like tries to go at her and all of a sudden she's just got a gun. Just That's if, what I'm saying. Nothing, that, I, I would have been fine with that. Else. That was great. waiting for, like, the Indiana Jones-esque. Yes. Like, just, like, random, like, like build up. I was like, it'd be really funny if right now I build up, like, this, you know. If she picks up a you, barrel. And you then just you can't shot. beat this, this Scarface guy. I, I was waiting for Frankie to, like, bust in one of the fight scenes and just, like, pop a dude right yeah. in the fucking yeah. head. Yeah. Like, yeah. let's keep yeah. going. Let's go. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> Wow! Yeah! Wow! So many missed opportunities. I, I mean, you're I describing did, a better movie here. But yes. that being always. said, I did kind of like the deaths of the two guys. Yes. Yeah, because they were uh, one of them gets dropped from the top of a crane. That's kind yeah. of <laughs> yeah, and onto a shitload that of was, cargo. That and was it's fucking amazing. great because that was unexpected. We're like, where is he falling? We I don't was, see where he's going, and then yeah. boom, right through some fucking <laughs> crates. Like, it was with, great, like with a crunch. Yeah, yeah. And, like, and the rest speed. of the terrible movie before it, I was like. Oh, he's gonna fall in the water, and yeah. that's what I thought yeah. too. Yeah. I was yeah. hoping he was going into the gears that his arm went through. I know, because right. like, yeah. oh, that was that too. Yeah. cool. Yeah. yeah, that was cool. But no, he falls. He goes straight through some fucking crates. Yeah. That yeah. was yeah. great. And Nigel gets a uh, gets cargo it. container dropped on him. Yes, yeah, that was yeah. also a bravura. Yeah, yeah. I'm I was in very for happy. That. I'm in for that. Yeah. There was like about five minutes there in that movie that it was like, uh, I'm kind of interested in this. Yeah, right. A little bit, just like. All right, we're mm-hmm. doing, I agree. Got, got yeah. some stuff going on. Yeah. I also wish when they, they when they pretended to kill Frank. Yeah. I wish they would just kill him. It adds more like <laughs> it, it, because it takes right, it would just add more agency to the character. Frank does nothing for the rest there of the movie. There was no reason for them not to kill him. Why are they sparing his life? They're yeah. mobsters. What do they yeah. care? Yeah, he doesn't get to come back. Also, what do they he, care? Well, they did that a lot because early on they could have killed uh, Chad. Chad. Yes. So they uh, but they didn't because like Bolo Young comes up like uh, I think one of the uh, the minions like tries to attack uh, Chad misses Bolo Young's like Whoa, snaps his neck you know yeah. just well they, they, what you it's do like the kung fu fighting t- like trope of when you have just like wave one kill him yeah, yeah. now you it's your fail. turn yeah kill no, you now you get him yeah 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 everyone takes turns and then they instead of killing him they just put him in a cargo container but i think at that point it's because they thought that he was alex who didn't know who alex was one of the sons of whatever at that point they just thought he was an underworld dude that they wanted to help him smuggle drugs so they're not going to kill him because they'll use him again in the future right i agree that part makes sense yeah sorry and it's one of the only parts that does <laughs> Would you be interested to know that this movie did really well at the box office? Oh my god! Do Are tell you for real. It was number like two. Here? It was number two here? at the box oh, office. Wow. Yeah. Sean Claude Van Damme was the shit at this point. Like he was yeah. on his upward. Uh, you know, this was actually yeah. this was probably like peak. prime. Yeah, yeah, peak area. Oh yeah, it did really well, and they loved him playing twins so much. He went on to do three more movies playing twins or double roles. I mean, I was gonna say playing I've double roles. Yeah, what? where he plays. But what's what? What are the other ones? Yeah. Um, I know I've watched and, 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 ones. and one of them is not double team. <laughs> no, no, it's, it's not. not double team. <laughs> but Rodman um, is his twin brother. Yeah, in the no, it is uh, the ones. order. And Maximum Risk and Replicant. 
Maximum Risk. There's yeah. another one I've seen with him, and maybe Maximum Risk. He where plays he's playing dual roles. Wow, yeah. I haven't Four seen movies. any of those movies. I've yeah, seen I'm not sure many people one. have. In the yeah. Order, is, well, he, is he a priest in the Order? Probably. No. Are you thinking Come of on. the right? I don't fucking know. <laughs> <laughs> probably. Anthony Hopkins. That's Anthony Hopkins. Uh, yeah. Yeah. He's probably a priest. I don't know. I don't know what the Order is. Never seen and it. a replicant <laughs> is some sci-fi movie. Yes. That I'm sure. Yeah. I think, he play, I think he plays yeah. like a man and like a cyborg or something. I just remember sure Natasha, that's not cyborg? Natasha no, it's, it's from not. Species is in Ma- Maximum Risk, but I still didn't oh. see it. <laughs> I'm surprised. She, so, was a, she was a thing for them. I suppose that uh, should that's we... Good. That's it. No, that's it. That's it? Yeah, we talked an hour for this thing. That's it. We're done. Okay. Well, then, uh, listener, here's what's going to happen. Long time listeners, you know what's going to happen. But if this is your first episode, thank oh, you. Shit. Welcome. Thanks. Um Welcome. We're going to answer some mail, and then we're going to go around the table, and we're going to tell you uh, what we thought of uh, tonight's movie, Double Impact, individually. So stick with us. But first of all, we're going to summon our mailman, Igor. Igor, bring us the mail. Masters, masters, the mail. I've got the mail. So many letters. Our followers are rising, rising. Why, thank you, Igor. Thanks, you. Thank you. Appreciate it. All he right. he had a twin, but he ate him. There you go. Yeah. There it is. There okay. It is. Did he resorb him? He did. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so we want to remind you uh, where you can get a hold of us. This is you know again because we're not asking you to go to Patreon. We're not. No, no, no. Don't pay for us. No, shit for no. Us. Right. don't pay for no. this. No, that's not. We're just sitting around talking about movies. We so want we, you to actually yeah. just write we in. We want you to be that's part of the family. Talk yes, to us. Yes. We're not going to give you anything extra because you paid us. We'll just give it to you right here. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think you can handle it if we like did extra stuff. It'd blow your mind. I don't think we can handle it. Doing extra uh, all, stuff. Yeah, like live stream us eating dinner before we watch the movie. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. And then we'll start live streaming this. Yeah, and then we'll live stream us watching the movie. It's gonna be like you know, I had, I had, I'll sit there going. I had him. I had a listener message me the other day and ask if we would ever live stream us watching the movie. Coming soon. You know I don't think we should ever live stream. I don't think so but either. We should definitely pick a movie and do a commentary for it. I think, but that's just me. I, I mean, none of us commentary. talk that much in the movie, and when, uh, no, when it does, it's, it's just like, no. like this sucks. No, I think there are <laughs> one that we specifically do a commentary. I was like, for. because sure, there, sure, we sure. have watched movies where it's like fucking mystery science down here. We're right. talking like the yeah, whole yeah, time. Yeah, yeah, well, sure, we should sure. be yeah. purposely like we need. We're supposed to talk about this, yeah. not just whatever we feel like talking about. Like right. we've this is something we need to talk right. about. Yeah. Welcome we to this behind the scenes, behind the curtain. <laughs> Episode of yeah. Saturday Night Freak <laughs> Show, the business, the business uh, yeah. end of of the, uh, yeah, this the is enterprise side shit right now. Yeah, um, we, we should remind people how they can get a hold yeah. of us uh, on Facebook, Facebook dot com slash Saturday Night Freak Show. Uh, by Twitter at Sat Freak Show. By email Saturday Night Freak Show at Yahoo dot com and on Instagram at Saturday Night Freak Show. So tonight. Karate Warrior 2 writes in. I know. And he says, has the issue of the best kids or family movie ever been addressed on the Saturday Night Freak Show? Have you listened to this show? Like, yeah, what Dom, kind of show? what are you asking? What, the, we what watch the best, Possession on this show. What best, the best uh, kid, kids <laughs> or family movie? Yeah. Wait, well, like, what no. do you mean, like ever? Or like what we should like, watch? Just, like, what are you talking just, about? Just what our opinions are? Or, are? or no. not, Tur- the, not that you've, we've done on the show. No. no. Just, well, yeah, turtles movies? I was going to say... Ghostbusters? I was going to say uh, Home Alone and the Princess Bride were done on this show. Jesus Christ. Oh, sorry. That's not your pick. Oh, they I were not my you. pick. Okay. They were no. not my pick. I was not here. <laughs> that was All right, another so girl. So we'll go around the room. Uh, best family movie. Sean. Like ever? I don't understand Brandon. this question. Give me a second. Question. Give me a second. Yeah, I'll, I'll come back question. around. I... Best family mm. movie? All right. I'm going to go with Abbott and Costello meet of Frankenstein. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Sean. Sean. Uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 2 because that's a better family movie than the first one. The first one's pretty violent. All right, Brandon. Two. I have two of them. Okay. Mary Poppins. Oh, I yeah. mean, that's yeah. pretty spectacular. Yeah. Five all goes west. <laughs> Holly. Um, the Wizard of Oz. All right. Uh, about double impact, Ooh. Johnny New Jersey writes in and he says, <coughs> Oh, Johnny. We all have our particular favorite 80s, 90s action star, and Van Damme is mine, so yes, I can be a little bit his. biased. I appreciate that Van, Jan- Van Damme changed his body type for both roles, as Chad is smaller, leaner, and Alex is bulkier. I do feel that Chad can do the splits and with the kicks, and Alex can't, 
with a more brawler style. He also recommends uh, the movie JVCD, oh, yeah. which is a uh, oh, yeah, quasi-realistic... Yeah. yeah, I've always... Yeah. It's been on the radar. I haven't... I don't think he changed his body type for the two roles. I, don't I couldn't think, tell I him apart. I don't think so either, they won't, they won't, they, No, he I changed think his one, hair. They went, one more wore a, a trend, like a trench coat, like a duster, yeah, and that no, was the difference. The, the, and um, in fact, I'm going to say it's impossible that he did. Because I'm, I'm wondering. Sure they were shooting one, I'm sure they were shooting one, one second, and another. The yeah, other. the same so day. It's, I'm going to say it's impossible location. that he changed his body type. Yeah. Oh, yeah. he did have maybe a little his, bit of stubble. Maybe it, well, sure, and it felt like it got darker at a certain point. End of the point. day yeah. stubble. Yeah, yeah, it felt like it got darker wonder, at certain points in the movie. But I don't. I'm wondering if he's talking about when they shared screen time because their sizes I'm were sure, not matched. Well, up. I'm sure there was uh, him. Probably he probably took a different like stature yeah. for a character, well, but think, also the perspective for each character when they are sharing a scene is not correct. Right. I mean, I did think he had the idea of being like the tough, like right, 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 like slump your shoulders a little bit more. Yeah, you're yeah. the tough guy. I'm sure there was something to like, that. Shoulders back, preppy Chad. Maybe right? if he had yeah. a different more accent. animated. <laughs> Maybe if he one of them surgically removed that lump on his forehead. So what we're saying? Sa- so what we're saying is he changed his his body stature and not his body type. Right. Yeah. Right. He just right. changed how he was standing. Right. <laughs> Versus his muscle. <laughs> Versus his muscle. I'm telling you, the fucking Oscars of 1991 were Missed overlooking out. one of the greatest Maybe. performances of an, a thespian, an actor. All right. What's okay. next? Okay. Yeah, keep going. Uh, about the Texas Chainsaw Massacre 2, last week's Dukes. episode. Jimbo123 okay. writes Jimbo. in. And says, Texas Chainsaw 2 is such a frustrating experience. Some mild amusement at a few aspects. Aspects: Dennis Hopper losing his shit and triple-wielding chainsaws is such badness, but it's offset by being relentlessly annoying and gross. Completely agree with you. Yep. It's, not, uh, it's not good. Mm-hmm. I watched that movie years ago. I didn't care for it. Yeah, yeah. It's, not, uh, yeah. it's not good. Um, not right. so I did have the argument recently with a friend, As Ryan well, Burrett. Uh, so. Sure, Ryan. So, hey. uh, what was a better Dennis Hopper character? From Texas Chainsaw Massacre 2 or uh, Blue Velvet. Blue Velvet. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, was, I haven't even seen Blue Velvet, and I'm going to say it's Blue I, Velvet. I have not uh, seen Blue Velvet. Mommy. You guys haven't? I haven't. If I, ever, if I ever get blessed with choosing a movie for this, <laughs> I might choose that movie. Oh, my God. <laughs> that seems that sounds depressing. Well, uh, I need to see Blue Velvet. Jimbo, yeah, just, just yeah. for his performance. Yeah, sure. Jimbo would also like to recommend a movie. He recommends Jesus Christ Vampire Hunter. Oh no! Mm. That sounds too on the nose for this <laughs> for yeah. this podcast. It's, I, I, yeah, it's too self self aware. Yeah, it's yeah. They knew they self-aware. knew what they were doing when they were making that movie, and I think that automatically eliminates it for us. Have you seen it? it? No. It's a uh, it's a you? horror musical. No, then it's uh, then it's definitely out. <laughs> it's a Canadian horror musical. It's that's oh we strikes. saw one of those. That was it was one of our first episodes. It was uh, oh god, it cannibal oh, cannibal musical. musical cannibal musical yeah yeah. yeah. Yep. Yeah, that's never going to get I picked. told him I would look into it, but I didn't promise I'm anything. Gonna, that's never going to get picked. I didn't promise anything. That's not going to happen. He's also the one that suggested possession, so I'm holding that oh, against him. Oh, yes. yeah. You've I'm, already I'm, you've I'm got one strike. I'm holding that against him. You've got yeah. one strike, sir. I don't think we're going to do any more musicals on this show. Well, I'm telling not you, this, I'm this man's a goddamn hero in my book. So yeah, Colin right. might be the only one who's going to pick a musical for this show. I Mc- did. Mc- it was Caleb. called Repo. Was I picked bad. possession. Look at this. I mean, bad. Jimbo, I mean, you and I, we see eye to eye here. So. Shocking Dark, the movie that we did. Uh, uh, TGS <laughs> one two three seven one. Get a one. name. He writes in, or she writes in, and he, says exactly. he writes in and says, "What an insult!" Copying one of the greatest films ever, because <laughs> well, that yeah. movie copies Alien. Aliens. Got it? Yeah. Dom Cree writes in. Yes. What up, Dom? Hey, Dom. All right, I want to point out he, he, that he wrote in twice. I'd also like to point that out. I would like Whatever. to point out that Dom recommended this movie and then oh. in the course of our correspondence it has been revealed that dom didn't actually watch this movie. yeah i'm not surprised so you took the bait and watched the movie so he Wait, says dom recommended this yeah he shocking recommend- dark oh, oh shocking dark shocking dark oh yeah right because he only watched a half hour and turned it off yeah, yeah so he says i'm also watching shocking dark right now or at least trying and why the hell is everybody screaming yeah. Well, that's because they're acting now. Yeah, I mean, that's, no, how you act. no. that's how you act. No. You, act movies, you have to yell no. and get your point across. <laughs> no. Dom, you have to watch this. No. If you have not, you should have finished I think, this movie. I think no, probably, you shouldn't. Yeah, I, we need to hear like how it went uh, when you watch the full movie that you forced the, foisted upon us. Yeah. I still don't think he actually recommended it. I think Sean saw something. I, I think he mentioned it. I think he mentioned it, and Sean took it as a recommendation because Sean only hears what he wants to hear. 
I'm killing one. Moving on from Shocking Dark. We're Jesus. done. All right, the Movie Guru podcast. <laughs> It'll never be mentioned again. <laughs> All right, Movie Guru. Movie Guru says, if you think Shocking Dark was bad, you should check out 1992's Split Second, starring Rutger Hauer. Then no, I'm not going to check it out. No. I've seen, I saw that movie in the theater. Of course you did. Of course yeah, you did. of course you did. <laughs> I remember it being bad, but it like, takes place in a futuristic flooded London, which I remember being kind of cool. Flooded and there's, London. I like that. And then there's a, a creature that looks like the alien running around killing people. We just saw this movie. I mean, what yeah. you described to me it sounds kind of sweet. It's not bad. And I think maybe it just came out on uh, video like after having been gone for like 30 years, 20 years, 30 years. Is it the better I know. Sean's guy? like, he's going to look at look at him. He's going to recommend it. Do no, I, no, what, I'm what, not. What, I'm saying you go, can't yeah, find this movie. You can't find this interesting when all the reasons you just said is the reasons I brought Shocking Dark. You can't be I like this. Sounds I was going to bring it. I'm, I'm throwing no, it out there. No, that you maybe can't do that. You're going to bring this. I'm not bringing this. Oh, yeah. I just Split got filleted for bringing he Shocking actually, Dark. He I'm, actually no says, if you think Shocking Dark's bad, you should watch this. Right. That means it's worse. <laughs> right. That's what I'm saying. Stop it's it. Like, and you're saying all the reasons this sounds interesting is because what I, why I brought Shocking Dark. You can't do that. All right. In its defense, even though Ooh. I saw it like a hundred years ago, I'll mm. say it's better than Shocking Dark. Uh, about the blob. I don't believe you. Yes, The Blob. Yes, let's talk about The Blob. A movie which we all love. Great movie. A listener called... The, blob. the remake? Blob's uh, yeah, yeah, both. Fantastic. A listener called I Like to Watch right yes. in and that said... That is not creepy a great as I like that. fuck. I like that. <laughs> I mean, you're being honest. Which wow. Is great. I like that name. <laughs> the movie watcher. What are you talking about? How, yeah, what do you think? Uh, that's all. Uh, he says, after listening to this episode, I'm revisiting the film. It's been nearly 20 years since I last saw it, and there's yeah. some awesome deaths in it, and a young Erica Alaniac is a victim before she was in Baywatch. Yep. Mm. All of those things are true. Yeah. That is true. All of those things. And Karate Warrior 2 writes in again uh, about the blob. Tom. And he says, I remember the blob from my childhood. Scared the shit out of me with that goo. I was never allowed to watch it, though. I just saw a video on YouTube called The Blob 1988, 1988 All Deaths. Fucking hell. No wonder my parents didn't let me watch that insanity. I would have been traumatized for life. So I'm confused. Have you never watched it? I feel like he hasn't watched it. He's only watched the deaths. We need clarification. I think you, can, you, Dom, should, you I'm, should watch I'm, the whole thing. I'm, I'm going to put a, a rule on Dom at this point. I'm like, you can't write in about a movie unless you've watched it. He's not fully through. I'm thinking. He said he remembers it from his childhood. He, it scared him. Yeah. I think he remembers it existing from his childhood. That's what I'm saying. That his parents wouldn't let him watch it, and then he went through and watched the deaths on YouTube, and now he's commenting on it. Dom, I don't think you can comment. <laughs> the bromance is the over. The entire movie. This, at this is point. it. It's the, all over. The, the beef has started. Again. I know. The I lines so. been drawn in the Watch sand. the movies, Dom, and then you can talk to us. Oh dear God! Wow. Watch them. Oh em. man, the gauntlet, gauntlet is thrown. I man. think Oof, so. I don't want any of this. Like, I recommend it. Yeah, <laughs> shocking dark. I mean, no. He didn't recommend it. Sean <laughs> mentioned it. All right, but he's talking about the blob and he hasn't watched it. So watch the movie, then talk to us. That's all I'm saying. So all right. harsh. We're gonna get so much. That's how we work. So angry. Harsh. That's me and Dom. Okay. So right. um that brings us to the end of our mail segment. So here's the moment that you've been waiting for, listener, this entire time. Colin. Yes, Sean. <laughs> what did you think about we watch Double Impact. <laughs> oh, 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 you almost said Double Team, didn't you? <laughs> double Impact. What did you think about Double Impact? Um, Sorry, Chuck Levin and Chuck Levin. Well, I didn't like it. I suppose that's not sure. that's apparent at this point. There you go. Um, there's something about. I said this before in the nineties of the decades when, when movies started sucking, but it's, it's a carryover from like the eighties action thing. Uh, and this is, you know, again, like I think I said earlier, the Hong Kong wave came in and showed American cinema audiences. Like this is how you do action movies. Like these guys have been doing it better than you for a while. And now it's like finally crossed over into the mainstream. And then we adopted those techniques and then evolved our style based on that. Um, and so now it's kind of funny to go back and watch these movies that were made prior to that <clears throat> in this era. I don't know. I've never been a fan of Jean-Claude Van Damme. Um, I don't, you know, I mean, I guess, you know, Schwarzenegger also, you know, has that, uh, I mean, he's, you know, a foreign guy coming over and, you know, pretending to be, you know, John Smith or whatever the hell, you know, like John, what was the right. last action hero? John, 
It's always a John it's somebody. Ja- ja- Jack Slater. Jack Slater. Yeah, and Jack Slater, you don't yeah. even have to justify why he <laughs> talks like an Austrian. No, right? You never, don't even do it. Never. Just Not even a Terminator. He's fucking Arnold Schwarzenegger. He's just mm. got that accent. But for some reason, we have to justify uh, Jean-Claude Van Damme every time. Like, <laughs> right. in dialogue, somehow, this is how, you know, this is why he sounds like a Frenchman. He was he was raised right. by an he Asian just family? He be, like, a French dude. You don't have to get into it. Yeah. I know, but yeah. every yeah, single but he's, like, fucking raised by movie. An Asian family in Bloodsport and yeah. We, yeah. yeah we have to reconcile that at yeah. some point. I, no I don't think you have to and but I'm they gonna, do I'm gonna defend Bloodsport some more guys <laughs> <laughs> so um, yeah I mean I've never been a fan of him uh, I think basically you've got what I mean Stallone I think is probably I didn't think this at the time I thought it was the other way I thought it was uh, Schwarzenegger then Stallone probably mm-hmm. but now I'm like it's Stallone, Stallone. You know, through the course of his career, Stallone's the best action hero that we had that came out of that era. And I applaud Sheldon Lettich for writing uh, what was one of the greatest action films oh, of the 1980s, which is Rambo 3. Fuck um, that. And uh, I mean, this is uh, quite a disappointment to come down from from that film. Um yeah, I don't know. It's, Van Damme's not an interesting... Ca- I don't enjoy watching him. You know, he just doesn't interest me as a person. And maybe that's the thing. Maybe I just don't, you know, have, like, a thing where I just... I don't like Jean-Claude Van Damme. And I don't care what, like, characters he's in or, you know, he plays. But it's also compounded by, I think, the fact that the movies are so fucking dull. Uh, I thought they were dull then, you know? Because I guess you had things like Rambo 3 or Die Hard or, you know, there were other um, action films that you could seek out and see at this point in time. And he always seemed to be doing these like, okay, yeah, I'm going to go kick somebody in slow motion. I'm going to kick him in the face, though, and I'm going to do the splits while I do it. Oh, you know, I think I I agree with what you're saying. JCBD to me was more so see like so Arnold Schwarzenegger, Sylvester Stallone, Seagal. Are a, a diff- are a different. Extent, yeah. I would say those guys are a different subset. Like they're like the legit action guys. Where JCVD is just like slightly better than like Steven Seagal, who that's like cheese ball, low rent compared to like the the the, the big guys. Feels like maybe, think. but there was. I'm trying to think like who else because you go like further down. Who am I? Am I missing like another major? I mean, that was basically Bruce it, right? Lethal weapons with Mel Gibson. Yeah. But they could do so many other things that they yeah. weren't like strictly action. Like you know, yeah. when when Stallone made a movie, it was an action movie. When uh, um, Van Damme made a movie, that's what you expected. Charles Bronson. Now you know, oh, yeah. basically, Chuck yeah, Chuck Norris. But now you Blue have uh, Statham, like, yeah. right? Is basically that guy yeah. now. It's Blue. like if, if Statham's in a movie, you know what kind of movie you're going to get. Uh, and I would argue that every single one of his movies is better than the one that we watched tonight. Uh, I was bored out of my head by uh, this. I really was like out, you know, we were coming in to talk about it. I'm like, I don't even know what we're going to say about this uh, film. I was, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's strictly by the numbers. There's not a whole lot of it there. They're hoping that you're going to come for the action. There's not a whole lot of action. It was just kind of like, why does this movie exist? And then it becomes like an ego trip. And then it has that kind of nasty feeling to it. Cause like, this is some kind of Van Damme, like playing. He thinks the only actor capable of, you know, acting well against John Claude Van Damme is John Claude Van Damme. I mean, it's like, it's, you know, like who go fuck yourself. Uh, I did not like this movie. I didn't hate it, but I don't right. like it. I don't recommend it. You shouldn't suffer through it. Sean, what'd you think? Huh? Um, I'm going to keep this short because I uh, listened to last week's episode and I talked for like 10 minutes wrapping up that movie. You had a long wrap up, dude. I, it was long and I apologize to every listener for that <laughs> one because I've been drinking a little bit and so I went on way too long. So we're going to keep it short. Um, I don't feel any feelings towards this movie one way or the other. Um, I'm kind of just in the middle about it. Um, there were some good action scenes I guess, kind of in this one, like I just where, where? I'm where? just talking about like just the shooting, like nothing to do with anything. Yeah, uh, nothing. To there, do with there was people shooting guns at some points right. in this movie. Sure, and wait, but there were people shooting guns at Samurai it. Cop. I mean, what but makes this better? That. Oh, that's right. I didn't watch it. Right. Right. But other than that, it was just like, ah, eh, all right, you know, you would hope with, <laughs> you would hope with a, you have double Jean Claude Van Damme in a movie. It would up the excitement it would have of the movie, the impact. right? Ooh. Yeah. At some point <laughs> in this movie, um, I didn't feel it. I have. I am. <laughs> Bravo. 
Um, I, I, I know. I don't feel anything towards this movie. I, I take it or leave yeah. it. I don't have any. I have no thoughts towards this. I don't. I don't, I don't think you should. In that, I don't think you should watch it because I don't think it'll do anything for you. Because I felt nothing. Um, yeah, I don't I recommend. Love, I, don't I love recommend that I've, I've numbed Sean. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm num- yeah, I'm numb to this movie. I have no feelings one or the other. It doesn't really do anything for me. Yeah, I don't. Right. Don't. Yeah, no, don't. I, you, you're good, Brandon. Uh, okay, I'm gonna keep this relatively succinct. I think. <laughs> I think we should. Um, this movie was terrible. <laughs> It, even getting trying to get beyond the kitsch, the idea. Okay, idea. Jean Claude Van Damme playing against Jean Claude Van Damme is a great idea. Fucking killer idea. <laughs> yes. <laughs> truly, yeah. truly, truly incredible. Yes. Should be great. Should be great. It should be one of those movies like, oh, it's so stupid. You have to see it. Yes. But it's just ever just falls flat in every way. Nothing about it is. You know what? If you want to watch this movie, go to YouTube. And search all the action scenes from Double Team with Dennis Rodman. <laughs> yeah, and enjoy yourself for for I fifteen watch minutes. This movie again, <laughs> tiger, right? Because <laughs> maybe I would change my mind on a Hard Target if I could remember <laughs> Double Impact. It's not worth your time. <laughs> and this comes from I Wait, double, I, double Impact. Double Impact yeah. is not worth your time. Double Team is it's worth definitely your time. worth your time. Uh, uh, I Dennis love Blood Rodman Sport. and a Tiger. I'm not a huge Jean Claude Van Damme guy. I love Blood Sport. Yeah. I don't think any of us are. Um. This this ain't no blood sport. This isn't. I mean, I I don't like Jean Claude Van Damme. I could probably think of six Jean Claude Van Damme movies I would watch before this. Universal Soldier. You know what blood sport had that this didn't? It had fucking Ray Jackson. You don't have that when it's Jean Claude Van Damme again. Uh, yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. It's just nothing. I'm gonna fucking kill it you. Didn't hit on huh? any level. I mean, I don't know what's what's the best scene in this movie, guys. The sex scene. No, the I mean, the yes, sexy. I was just about to yeah, say yeah, the nudity. Yeah. I was just about to say the nudity. And I am not that guy. I am not right. I am not the homer that's like, who oh, fucking tits in movies. Right. Yeah, I do not I feel this way yeah, about anything. But well, honestly, it's the, it was, it's the most visually interesting. I'm, vis- I'm color, saying, color like, it was wise. actually like a, a vision that was directed. Right. Like it was, Somebody had <laughs> thoughts on a scene and they and, put it into visually. And, and it got us talking about the different people and yeah. like, are all yeah. three of them doing this? Right. It, That's the best. Te- that Technically, it ends up being the, the most the, interesting scene. That is the most cinematic scene, the scene in this movie. And it's less because of the boobs. So <laughs> instead of watching this movie, go to MrSkin.com or whatever that website is. <laughs> Search for this Find for, the, for the sex. Seen in double yeah. impact, and then go watch the action. Just just the compilation of action, action sequences from Double Team with Dennis Rodman. I'm then <laughs> Holly. Oh, it's you. On you. <laughs> so I brought this movie. You did. Thank, this thank was, you, Holly. This was thank mine. you for bringing this. <laughs> this was mine. Um, I recall watching this movie as a kid. You know, my older brother. We would watch. JCVD movies all the time and I remember specifically liking this one as a child which I should not have watched it as a child but that's beside the point Um, I had not seen it in like 20 years so I didn't really remember much about it Um, I chose it and then started looking into it and I realized that Sheldon Lettich had written and directed this and then I saw that he wrote Rambo 3 and I knew I was going to fucking hate this movie because I fucking hated Rambo 3 You did this research after we watched Ram- after. Rambo 3. Yeah. <laughs> after. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. yeah, no, it's boring as fuck. It's so boring. I I can't... I can't even... Holly, uh, she can't, was, she can't was Rambo either. 3 a better movie than this? No, you know what? Oh, no, God I damn still it. hate no. Rambo 3. No. I still hate it, but I will say I would much rather watch Bloodsport. I know. Yeah. 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 Of course you'll watch Bloodsport yeah. right yeah. now. No, no. 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 Let's just no. watch Bloodsport I feel right now. Like, I feel like if I could right now go back and change my recommendation, I would say I recommended Bloodsport. I really would. Fuck yeah. I really would. I do, <laughs> however, I do now realize that I am not actually a fan of JCVD. That childhood memory has now been ruined. It's he's not someone I enjoy watching. He's really awful. He should not have written this. I think if someone else had written this, we may have gotten the double JCVD we wanted. Maybe. But mm-hmm. because it was just a passion project, it was way too much of his horrible writing. And, and it, it feels was like just, he was in close cahoots with Ledich. He this. was, because they've done multiple movies together. Yeah. A they've lot. done a lot of movies together. Um he the, there is a sequel written 
Oh. It has never been made. Thank to you. double impact? To double impact. <laughs> <laughs> triple impact. <laughs> triple impact. Oh, triple impact. There is a sequel. Um, double impact the other, two. Yeah, the other twin. He, double, double impact. Yeah. 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 Um, JCBD went on to say that he would love to have someone pick it up. And he went on to say of course he would. someone He's would work. have to be smart enough. To br- to pick up this movie, of course, because he thinks he's that brilliant. Someone that oh, understands boy. his genius, right? Yeah, exactly, uh, exactly. This, I mean, I'm assuming Universal Soldier made more. Was this like so. his most successful movie? Uh, at, um, I mean, when it came out, it it's was, not but no, it, Bloodsport. No, it's not. I mean, he went on Alexa, to. Alexa, what's Jean Claude Van Damme's <laughs> most successful movie financially? Probably The Expendables, right? Um, yeah, it's probably yeah. the Expendables. I'm not sure. uh, she's not sure. I'm gonna guess it's the Expendables. <laughs> well, yeah, but he's not the reason you're there. Well, yeah, but, but yeah, still, I mean, I mean would, they would associate that with. That's uh, probably true. Yeah, but no, I, I ultimately, I don't think I'm actually a fan of his. I, I, my memory has been tarnished. I did not like this movie. Um, yeah, no, okay. fuck John Claude Van Damme. Okay, I'm, I'm wow. done with it. I'm done with him. Well, it's after you put yeah. him on the wall, but thank you very much. I yeah, mean, yeah you put him on the wall. I did. Picture. I did. Not just me. Not during my yeah, criteria. Michaela had those, two of his movies. Photos on the wall. Thank you very much. So you're but, both at fault. Yes. <laughs> okay. But no, I cannot honestly recommend Double Impact to anyone ever. We did not horrible. abide. Double Impact. Wow. No. Bad right. stuff. Man, it's not like we just hate on movies, folks. You stick with us, Lauren. Yeah, we'll like one. Eventually, check out some yeah. of our back catalog. We like the blob. We like the blob. We like the blob. Love the blob. That you know just... movie I love? Roadhouse. <laughs> Roadhouse. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I like yeah. Roadhouse. Roadhouse. Did you guys do that movie for this podcast? We did. Oh, yeah, yeah. I fucking love. That I know. Movie. Yeah, One yeah. time Roadhouse I went trivia great. because I knew that the name of the bar was the Double Deuce. The Double Deuce. <laughs> yeah. 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 That movie fucking crushes. <laughs> it does. In but every aspect. Yeah. Yeah. Right like frame also, of mind. A very long movie for what it is. It's like two hours. Yeah. So there you go. No one watched Double Spec. Everyone watch Roadhouse. Yeah, yeah. right. Yes. Watch, so watch Roadhouse. Yeah, wait till we watch Ghost. <laughs> uh, well, that better not ever happen. Yeah. Oh, it's we covered the best two Swayze movies during uh, Summer Swayze. We can do a Summer Swayze. Yeah, and that was fucking Point Break and Roadhouse. Then that's it. I mean, what are you gonna do, Black Dog? Ghost, Ghost is great. No, you don't do fucking Ghost on the Saturday Night Freak Show. That's for a different show. Black Dog <laughs> would be your next. What about uh, Red Dawn. Oh, I remember Black Dog. I will not get Red Dog. Red Dawn. Don't do Red Dawn. Red Dawn don't, probably works. Red Dawn. Don't do Red Dawn. Don't do Red Dawn. On. Have you seen it? No, and I don't want to. Why not? What? Because it's, it's America. Not, it's Wolverines. Donnie fucking Darko. out of my arrow. <laughs> arrow. Era. Donnie Darko. He wasn't Donnie Darko. I he forgot wasn't. about he that. Was. I he forgot was a, about he that. Was a creep in he Donnie was a Darko. pedo. Yeah. 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 Oh, spoilers. Well, spoilers. Sorry. For, uh, for, uh, to, uh, oh yeah. Sorry. Yeah. If, yeah. Sorry if you sorry weren't alive 15 years ago. Yeah. 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 Maybe we should have spoiled S. Darko. Um, it's a joke for a sequel to a movie that. All right, then. Yeah, so, it is. next it a week, it is. No, it's Maybe a sequel. It's, it's a his sequel? sister. Oh, okay. yeah. Jesus. Cool. Samantha Darko. <laughs> uh, so, next cool. week, we're going to be watching a movie that's chosen by. Colin! Colin, what the hell are we watching next week? All right, I'm keeping on my. Because uh, I noticed You're that. You're back I'm on nervous. your bullshit? My what? You're back on your bullshit? No, no, I'm staying with my current theme. Back on your bullshit. What am I doing? I don't know. Monster movies. I'm okay Ooh, with that. He picked okay. the blob, Sean. Let him talk. I think I did hear from Yeah, deep. but this could be a wolf what was man the one I did shit. Be, it might be. We're going to watch 1980s Alligator. Oh, we're finally watching Alligator. Okay. Giant alligators That's in fine. sewers. I like that. Oh, yeah. I'm in. People. Alligators I'm in. Alligator. Yeah. Robert Forster's yeah. in it. Ooh, all right. Alligator. Yeah, We've been I'm talking in. about this one for a couple episodes. 